Hey everyone, I'm Jared and you're watching Inform Overload. Be sure to subscribe if you're into science, politics, entertainment, and just life in general. And who's not into life? We upload multiple videos daily and we got a great group of hosts to keep you entertained. We also respond to your comments and questions at the end of each video, so be sure to stick around for that. Today reports are coming out talking about Mars and possible alien life. This is huge news because no one has ever claimed this happening before. You see what I did there? On a more serious note, this might actually be the real deal. After stumbling upon two craters and doing some research, the team has concluded this would be, I quote, a good candidate site for evidence of past life. These two craters are named Hellas and Galaxy S Fosse and are quite big. Ranging across several kilometers and hundreds of meters deep, the boys over at the University of Texas have made quite a discovery. Sending a rover down into the depths of God knows what, Dr. Joseph Levy and his team discovered a few things that led them to believe a possible alien species inhabited this area at one point. Dr. Levy said, I quote, the key finding is that both depressions appear to be places where large amounts of subsurface ice were removed. The potential combination of heat, meltwater, volcanic gases, and geological weathering products make these kinds of depressions potential habitable zones for past Martian life. Finding evidence for past life preserved near the surface would raise the distinct possibility that some organisms could present deep in the Martian subsurface, similar to the organisms that live deep within the Earth's crusts. Now to give you guys an idea of how deep these craters or depressions really are, if the Empire State Building was dropped into this crater, you'd be able to see about 23 meters which is about half the size of the antenna part. Meaning this crater is real deep. Like deeper than Drake when he sings about his ex-girlfriend. I bought this one a purse. I bought this one a truck. I bought this one a house. I bought this one a mall. Jim Green, director of planetary science at NASA, said at a conference that the team found the levels of humidity to be much higher than originally thought and the soil was full of water. Another surprise to the team. As previously discovered, water on Mars changed a lot for humans and science in general. What started off as a dry planet may possibly be the the next planet humans inhabit when the nuclear bombs go off. Wait. I mean, um... It's common time, guys! In the video we did about an alien caught stalking Curiosity, one of the rovers on Mars, MattyB123 said, Hashtag potatoes, like the comment if you are a potato. I like that comment. Walrus Nation said, Would you rather have 10 million subs but only 100 channel views, or 100 subs and 10 million channel views? I would say the views, because Drake sings about views. And I like views. Jamie WK Farrell said Charlotte looks good when she realizes something. I think Charlotte always looks good, but I think that's a compliment to her, so I'll let her know. Anyways, guys, that's the end of this video. I'll see you in the next one. As always, you gotta let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys soon.